Each class at my university costs roughly $2,982. That's a lot of money, and it's super important to think about that number when you're signing up for a class. I took a class on how... Now the only problem here is that people at my university might recognize me, so I would need a disguise. And so I opted for a wig, glasses, and a New York accent. What up? I'm Tony. So his name was Tony P. It's close enough to my actual name to where professors wouldn't question it, but it's far enough away to where people wouldn't recognize me for being a YouTuber. Or so I thought, but we'll get to that later. By the end of this journey, I wanted to answer two questions, and that was, would I be able to gain any subscribers, and what grade would I get in this class? Feel free to place your bets right now. This is by far the craziest thing I've done in university, so buckle up and Enjoy. The one thing I didn't know about this class was that it was asynchronous. I probably should have checked before I paid $3,000, but that means that all of the course is online. All the submissions, all the discussion, everything. And now it's really starting to feel like one of those scam influencer courses that you have to pay a heinous amount of money for. But let's not make assumptions yet. It's time for we- Our first assignment in the class was to make an introduction post. And so I did just that. Hello everybody, my name is Tony, and I am a senior here at Rutgers University. Wow, that looks great. And post. After every assignment, we respond to another student's assignment using a pre-existing format. And look here, I actually got some feedback on mine. Keely says, I chose to critique this video because I think Tony is on the right track with his performance technique, but could benefit from a few critiques. Well, that's wrong, but continue. The performance could have been improved by Tony not repeating himself. Maybe he was trying to reach the time limit of 30 seconds, but he said his name and grade two times, and I think if he talked a bit slower, he could achieve the 30 seconds without repeating himself. Wow. Thanks for the feedback, Keely. I've got some feedback for you. I am a junior majoring in public health here at Rutgers. Um, I chose to critique this introduction because Keely critiqued my video and I thought she could benefit from a few critiques. The performance could have been improved in a few different ways. Foremost, the lighting in the video could have been adding a key and full light in front of her. The lighting could have been overall on that face. That could have been avoided. That could have been avoided. And post. Wow, that was fun. Let's do another. My name is Fernando. This is my favorite person in the class. This course will give me a lot of many great benefits. My first impression of the video is that Fernando has a beautiful voice. His voice has natural reverberations and a great tone. I found myself listening to this video several times because of how incredibly wonderful his voice is. It was almost as if I was being transported into another world. A world filled without trial and tribulation. A world where good must face evil. A world where Fernando's voice bellows through the skies and reaches every man, woman, and child lovingly. The performance could have been improved by recording horizontally. And post! What a great first week, worth every single penny. Let's move on to week two. Every few weeks we also got writing assignments. And this week's writing assignment was to pick a pre-existing video and then continue it. So I thought for an awfully long time about what video I would pick. And I decided, so sorry, Logan Paul. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. This wasn't his apology for when he tased the rat or made those like really insensitive cringe tweets or the time he scammed people for millions of dollars. Uh, this was the time when he filmed the body in the woods, the dead body, and then he uploaded it to YouTube. A anyways, here's how I would continue that video. All right, Logan Paulers, now that that sappy stuff is out of the way, it's time to show you guys what I really had planned. I'm gonna be surprising the family with a Tesla. Here we go. Wait, before I do, I need everybody watching to smash that like button and also leave condolences for the family. Did you guys know that only 45% of the people watching this video are subscribed? And just so you all know, this was supposed to be a written assignment, but Tony P goes above and beyond, so he made an audio version and submit. Amidst all this hubbub, it looks like somebody made a group me for the class. Let's join it and see what's happening. Nothing. Great. It's time to move on to week three. Now the first actual part of the curriculum for this class is a lesson on storytelling. For those of you who don't know, at the heart of every single great YouTube video is a great story. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. The assignment for this week was to make a video where you tell a story, but before Tony P could, the professor of the class made an announcement. Follow the camera sound and lighting instructions and video instructions, camera sound, lights, and editing. Make sure to test all your equipment before recording a performance. And so Tony P did just that. He set up four cameras and a drone in a small cubby of his room. But since the drone was way too loud, he had to scrap that idea. Tony P then did a dramatic reading of the SpongeBob SquarePants opening. Are you ready, kids? I can't hear you. I said. Oh. The professor also mentioned something about editing, so Tony P took a crack at that using a free software called Windows Movie Maker. That isn't to say there 
aren't people who are against. Another banger by Tony P. Let's see how the class did. My dog is named Jackie. He's a uh, drummer shopper. He's one year old now. My first impression of the story was that it's vertical, and a 200,000 watt industrial fan blows directly into the microphone. The part where the dog you initially wanted got adopted was very sad, but I was happy for you when you got your own dog. Big W. But in all seriousness, it can't be very hard to deliver a story in another language, and you did a great job despite that. I couldn't hear the performance because an industrial fan blew directly in the microphone for 2 minutes and 46 seconds. And reply. My favorite thing about this class so far is that nobody is trying except for Tony P. And Jonathan Vasquez. Let's take a look. And he plays it to my left foot, right? So as I see one of my strikers moving forward, I finally play him the ball forward. And as that happens... My first impression of the story is that I like the whispering. It was like ASMR. Here's a two-sentence summary. Jonathan whispers to you lovingly about the time he broke his nose during a soccer game. I think I don't play sports. Also, the video has a bird sporadically chirping approximately every 12 seconds. It was also fun to guess when the bird would chirp next. And reply. The assignments were going great, but one thing that all college courses usually have are exams. In this case, quizzes. We had about two of these per month, and the questions were things like, In what state in 1973 was the first annual storytelling festival held? Not sure how this is going to help me be a better YouTuber, but I'll bite. And after Tony P absolutely aced that exam, it was time to move in to week four. And the next lesson was on stand-up. If you could put together your perfect comedy tour, what three comedians would you choose? Tony P picked his three favorite comedians, Amy Schumer, Brandon Schaub, and Jim Brewer. But the fellow students had different responses. Looks like one of Shen Yun's favorite stand-up comedians is Lipo Joe. Let's check him out. Okay, I, I can't understand this. Let me, let me turn the subtitles on. Oh, they couldn't find any specials with English subtitles. That's fine. Here's my response to Shen Yun. Yang Yu Kan Yu Ji Hong Chao Ji Jack Zhao Hui Fu this person picked Sun Il Grover, Kevin Hart, and Trevor Noah. Hi, Aki. These are some great choices for comedians. They have such great humor and cadence on stage. That being said, they're all on the smaller side, so although I'm sure they could annihilate me in a battle of humor, I'm confident in saying that I could possibly take all of them in a mixed martial arts match. I could also probably beat all them in chess, but for some reason, Trevor strikes me as the type of person who's pretty good at chess, but I'll get back to you on that. And go to Twitter. At Trevor Noah, are you good at chess? And tweet and reply. But anyways, the actual meat of this lesson came from the assignment where we were supposed to do stand-up ourselves. But for Tony P's stand-up set, he decided to go to www.worstjokesever.com. This website had hundreds of horrible jokes that Tony P could use in his stand-up special to make it more difficult for himself because that's just the type of person that he is. Uh, the website also had an incredibly disproportional amount of orphan jokes, like a suspicious amount of orphan jokes. Why do orphans wish they had a bounty on them so they can be wanted? What color is your Bugatti? That one's by Andrew Tate. Most of these jokes just didn't make any sense at all. Like this one is just, hi, hello, hello, hello. But Tony P was up for the challenge. Hello, hello, hello. A man assaulted me with milk, cheese, and butter. How dare he? <laughs> there was also somebody on worstjokesever.com named Panera Bread who kept making Panera Bread jokes. Jokes is a strong word. Tony P included them in his stand-up set too. Panera Bread. What do you call Panera Bread has bread? Panera Bread. And submit. I'm sure my classmates will have tons of positive things to say about that. But let's check out how they did. This guy has a really good joke. Let's take a look. When I come down the street, I need to, I need you to spit out what is the worst race. And of course, I will join you guys to see the worst race, okay? One, two, three. Ah. This stand-up was original. I've never seen any stand-up comedian talk about race in the bedroom before. I also love the dog that was wandering around. And reply. Who here is Latino? Yeah. I'm not. A lot of you. Wow. And I just, that was a flat note. You know, that was a flat note because I'm finally done with my assignment. Ah. The stand-up performer made me, as an audience member, feel like I was watching an ASMR video. His whispers traveled elegantly down my spine and tickled my every fiber. The joke that was most like my sense of humor was when he talked about being Latino. I am not Latino, nor am I a person of color, but I like to feel left out of things, so I really enjoyed that part. And reply. While waiting for feedback, Tony P decided to study some of the course material. There was a lot of great stuff to study here, including a stand-up set from this lady named Ellen DeGeneres. No, I didn't realize how many people were employed by the flea collar industry. <laughs> 
I'm sure she's gonna have a long and prosperous career. Everything was going super smoothly at this point. We were about a third of the way into the semester and Tony P was finally catching his stride. That was until he received a DM that jeopardized the entire operation. A girl from the class had reached out to Tony P via the group me and confronted him about being AFPO. At this point, Tony P is freaking out. He tries his best to deny and change the subject, but it's not working. So he opts for a different approach where he invites the girl out to study for the class. That upcoming Friday, she met up with Tony and two other people from the class. Oh, hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Little did she know, those two other people were actually paid actors that Tony P hired. As she sat down, she was confronted with a bunch of papers and signatures on them. Tony P and the actors convinced her that they were practicing their signatures and told her to sign on the lines below. Oh, we were practicing our, our signatures. You want to practice? What does your signature look like? And there was already three lines in front of her. Little did she know, she just signed a non-disclosure agreement stating that if she ever revealed the identity of Tony P, that she could be executed in the eyes of the law. You signed like like an NDA saying you wouldn't tell anyone. Like, <laughs> and like if you did tell anyone, just so you know, the receiving party agrees that if they are to disclose the identity of the disclosing party, <laughs> the death penalty would be enacted. Wow. You understand that, right? And this is your signature, right? Shit. That's your signature? <laughs> and problem solved. We're about halfway through the semester at this point. I feel like Tony P was thrown off track a little bit because of the whole NDA situation. But now we're back on track with multi-character skits. A multi-character skit is a skit with multiple characters in it. I I've learned a lot from this class. Anyways, before Tony P made his assignment, he opted to watch the other classmates' assignments and give feedback first. Jonathan was incredible as always. His performance of Mordecai and Rigby setting up chairs oozed with passion. Setting up the chairs? I can't trust you guys with something important. You're always slacking. I chose to critique this performance because I am a big fan of regular show and Jonathan after his last performance. I could tell from the performance that the characters' emotions were exactly that of Mordecai and Rigby's. In fact, I encourage all of you to watch the original sequence and compare the two. It is nearly impossible to tell the difference. Jonathan is a master at work. Ben's gonna, gonna drop his balls, balls when he sees how good we set up we these set chairs. Up these <laughs> He's, He's gonna, gonna be, be all like, like oh, oh no. no. My gumballs. Even the girl who Tony P made sign a non-disclosure agreement made a great video. I even have scholarships, and I don't even see them. They're not even accounted for. The performers' characters were different in the following ways. One of them was a customer service rep trying their best to fly under the radar and accomplish their goal. The other came into the situation and overstepped. The customer service rep handled it masterfully. Students should remember their contracts and documents they signed upon attending the university. Her emotions were so well acted, it's almost like she signed a contract, making it possible for her not to fail. And threaten. Other classmates had incredible audio. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. And just like overall charm. How did I do? Do you really want to know? The class was then tasked with continuing somebody else's skit. So Tony decided to continue Fernando's skit. Todo bien, mi gato espelucao. Oh, qué bueno. ¿Cómo le fue a usted? Espera, mamá. Una cosa más. ¿Qué es mi nino encantador? DJ El Horno and Candindo Abajo. ¿Hace cuánto tiempo fuese eso? Hace seis horas. Oh, Dios mío. Eh, responder. At this point, Tony P was ready to make his multi-character skit. Tony P has already learned so much about how to be a good YouTuber at this point. The $3,000 was super worth it. So Tony P made a homosexual erotica between two fraternity brothers. I love the fraternity life. Yeah, me too. But you know, there are like a few things that I love more in this world. <laughs> yeah, me, me too. Do you want to say what those things are on the count of three? Uh, yeah, I guess. One, two, two three, three, you. you. Oh, Derek. Oh, Chad. Oh, Derek. I don't know, it just felt on brand. And with that assignment, Tony P was finally getting the recognition he deserved. I chose to critique this performance because it was so exciting to watch and it was so unique. It really was so well prepared. I could tell from the performance that the characters' emotions were that they appreciate each other. They fell in love. Love, love. I chose this performance because it was very entertaining with the party background music acting and editing. It seemed like Tony was well prepared for the performance and his acting looked very natural. I chose to critique this performance because he did really well for this assignment. Well done, Tony. Keep it up. Dude, even Keeley had something nice to say. I chose to critique this performance because Tony always does a great job on his assignments and I'm always entertained. Of course, he did not disappoint. Tony P apologizes for making fun of you earlier, Keeley. Even Jonathan Vasquez decided to continue Tony P's video. And obviously Tony P has to show 
his appreciation for Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. I'm unbelievably honored to have received feedback from my favorite micro-influencer, Jonathan Vasquez. Your work in this class has been one of a kind, and I would definitely consider this feedback and potentially even film a new version with your lines included. In fact, I went ahead and did just that. See here. And attach a shady link and post. That YouTube link was Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up. Great. Now it's time for week... Oh my gosh, guys. Tony P just got an invitation to the White House. He gets to give a message through performance to the whole country. Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 my lovely fans. It's me, Tony P, as all of you know. Oh my God, I love you, Tony P, I love you! <laughs> thank you, thank you. So as the title says, this is Tony P confronting a deer at the White House. Not sure why I did this. Absolutely despicable. And yet you stand there and face no consequences for your action. Hey, where are you going? No! No, no, run right in the middle of the street! No! I'm not gonna lie, guys. At this point, I was just trying to see if the professor would say anything about Tony P. And he wasn't. Now we're one week away from finishing the class, and Tony P gets to learn about vlogging. Hey, what up, everybody? It's me, Tony P, your favorite person in the class. True. And today, I'm here to show you guys what a day in the life is like for me. After I wake up, I like to grab a bunch of random pills and eat them because I feel like it's gonna make me stronger in the long run. Then after I eat the pills, I usually get changed. I usually like to opt for a nice high-vis vest, and then I like to play some VR. So, uh, usually I don't play VR. I usually just sit in there and look at waterfalls for several hours each day. Amazing. One thing I also also highly recommend is uh, I do light training every day. I flash a flashlight in my eye to uh, become more powerful. Wow. Great content as always, Tony P. Thanks, man. Take off your pants. The one thing I really liked about this feedback template is that it left a section to where people can say if they would subscribe to this channel if it was like an actual channel. And this is the exact feedback that Tony P needed. The topic of this vlog was very interesting and entertaining. If this were a channel on YouTube, I would subscribe to it because I feel like he really puts a lot of effort into his videos and they're really funny. If this were a channel on YouTube, I would subscribe to it because the way he shoots is very good, the content is also very humorous, and the costumes are also very attractive to the audience. Wow, everybody is so nice. Oh, except this person. If this were a YouTube channel, I would not subscribe because I don't tend to subscribe to YouTube channels in general. However, I would be a casual watcher of Tony's content were this a YouTube channel. If you're gonna casually watch my channel, you might as well subscribe. Sub for sub. Ah, another great week of work. And now the only thing Tony P has to do is submit his final project pitch. He could make any style video he wanted. And so he opted to make a Mr. B style video. I am the next Mr. B. I want to make a sensational he is super cool. If I made a million to my favorite, I would not have Tony learning how to be a Mr. Donald's in school. school. I myself Tony finally finally see see The pitch was to hand out a bunch of money to a bunch of strangers. But then halfway through the paper, it switched into a piece on systemic racism. Racism is bad. Systemic racism is a social and institutional process that reproduces racial inequality and it has also led to some staggering numbers from a wealth- Again, at this point, I'm just trying to see if the professor says anything about any of this. And submit! Fellas, it's time for the final week. He did not approve, but only because he wants the project to be about Tony P and not other people. Tony P instead decided to use all of the knowledge he gained throughout the semester. Hey, what up, everybody? It's me, Tony, your favorite person in the whole wide world. I started by introducing myself to random people, and I was gonna see if that went anyway. Hey, what up? It's me, Tony P. Nice to meet you. This video was an amalgamation of everything. He told stories. He did stand-up. Hi, hello, 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 everybody. It's me. He did multi-character skits. And he even vlogged. What is up? Today, I'm gonna be giving out $10 million to college students. Excuse me, sir, would you like a dollar? No, thank you. Fuck. So I've tried all the methods we've learned in class, and I realized that it's time for me to do things my way. For well, what is a man? What has he got? If not himself? I paid $3,000 to do this. Thank you all so much for this lovely course. And Jonathan Vasquez, I'm your biggest fan. Please contact me and submit. Nobody gave feedback. But there was still the final evaluation from the professor. Tony P scheduled a meeting with the professor to hear some of his candid words. But before Tony P could attend, let's check on how the channel's doing. After an entire semester of learning the craft, 
hours of hard work and let's be honest, a stellar personality, Tony P had gotten one subscriber. Oh man, Tony P can't face the professor like this. He would think Tony P is worthless. So that was it. Tony P just filled out the course evaluation and called it there. No, this couldn't be the end, not yet. So what Anthpo did was he made a bunch of story posts that slyly included Tony P in them. I didn't wanna just openly make posts about Tony P because that's cheating, I think. My plan worked. I gained just enough subscribers to feel like I didn't cheat. Literally two subscribers away from a thousand. This is, dude, oh, this is crazy. It was a great feeling. Tony P finally got to interact with some real fans. I found you, Anthony. My name is Tony P, please delete your comment. I love you, Tony P. Are you a girl? Bask in the glory of this newfound fame. You're so real for this, Tony. Thanks, pay me money. I love you, Tony, you're already a great public speaker. I expect big things from you. Thank you, Josta, can you pay me money, please? And just like that, Tony P was ready to face his professor. Hi, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Well, what did you uh, want to talk about? I just, I just wanted like some closure for the class. What are you interested in, in terms of content creation? Because it felt like you had goals to, to continue to make your own content. I, I didn't really know what to expect taking this course, but I guess I hit a thousand subscribers last night, like on the channel, so it, it was a oh, good feeling. Oh, congrats, that's great. Thanks. Yeah, well, you're very charismatic, and is the wig and the glasses, are those like just who you are as a person, or is that a character you're putting on? I, I had questions. Uh-oh. It's more me than, you know, anything else. But um, do you wear them? Do you wear them a lot? I, I wear the wig pretty much like all the time. Um, yeah. Would you say that my videos were were good? Like, would, were you proud? Like, you know, as like a professor? Yeah. Yeah. It, I, in fact, it made me wonder how much you had just already been doing it on your own. Uh oh. Right here, I had a choice. Should I have my Hannah Montana moment and reveal myself to Professor? I decided. No. You can you can feel like you're caught up, you know, you're running on the treadmill and you're just trying to to stay up with the trend when I think you build stronger, better fan bases when you stay true to yourself. Thank you so much. That was that was actually really great advice, like genuinely. So I okay. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Professor. Now let's check what grade we got in the class. I actually don't know, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't checked. I got a ninety-eight. I did it my way.